Konnichiwa viewers, Night at I back with another video. I've been wanting to cover an anime related video for quite a while, but couldn't find a video I wanted to go after until after I met Lunatic Gamer when joining Corporation of Alternative Nitpickers. I looked into his catalog of videos and found a commentary he did on a guy named Score PN who did a rant on Dragon Ball GT. While I do think Lunatic did an alright job, there were just two points he made that caused me to have to re-watch the video to make sure I heard him correctly. And it's those two points I'll be responding to today. In Dragon Ball, Goku takes on Demon King Piccolo's children. Don't the dragons from GT look exactly like those ones? Okay, how about no? While you aren't wrong, per se, the Shadow Dragons and the Demon Spawn of King Piccolo share similarities. An example would be Ice Shenron and Nova Shenron, who share a design with Tambourine. All three of them are humanoid winged dragons with big lips and a crest on the head. By saying that there has been another seven Dragon Balls that aren't meant to be taken, then why the fuck have them around? In fact, how can they exist if there is no one that brought them there? Uh, excuse me, I'm getting a call from a guy named Piccolo. I think he says you need to rewatch the series. Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Kami create the Dragon Balls after the original Namek split his good and evil half into two separate entities? After Piccolo was sealed away by Roshi's master, it could be that Kami wanted to undo all the harm his counterpart had done and created the Dragon Balls as a means of redemption. To back up my point, Piccolo only learned about the Dragon Balls after Pilaf released him, implying he didn't have any knowledge about them beforehand. Sure, you can say Piccolo created his own set of Dragon Balls after he conquered Earth, but we're never given the impression that he knew how, where he kept them, or even that the good guys knew that he had done this. It makes more sense to say that the Dragon Balls comic created would become corrupted after so much overuse, rather than say King Piccolo created his own set of Dragon Balls that would destroy a planet within a year's time. Especially since King Piccolo's goal was to rule the planet rather than destroy it. I'm ending it here because there isn't anything else I want to counter. Lunatic, I think you're an okay guy. You certainly know more about the Dragon Ball franchise than Scorpion did, and your counterarguments against him were decent. However, for someone who went into an elaborated counter for each of Scorpion's arguments, I was disappointed to see that you lacked elaboration for the two points I highlighted. Other than that, I liked the video and I think you have potential. And with that, this is Night and I saying thanks for letting me share my thoughts. I hope you'll share yours with me.